they're currently recently submitted their application and the first phase that they actually have to go through is to amend the Fry Street Overlay District. Um, what I mean by that is that the, the, the property has a zoning, but in addition to the zoning, it has an overlay that add an additional level of regulations. One of the regulations that's there now does not allow structures beyond, I think, of three stories or 45 feet. My understanding is that they're going to be proposing a five-story structure that will go up probably to its highest point at about 55 feet, 55 to 60 feet thereabouts. So they would need to amend the Fry Street Overlay District for the additional stories and for the additional height. So we will do that first, which will require us to amend the Denton Development Code. Now, if we're successful in having the amendment of the Fry Street Overlay District, then we can proceed forward with the reviewing of the plans and so forth. Because if they're going to submit any kind of plans that would not be consistent or contrary to the regulations that we currently have on the books, then we really couldn't, app we couldn't approve it. So we need to amend the Fry Street Overlay District first. And they've applied for that phase of development process. The city council will vote on that then? Yeah, that actually takes, um, it's a legislative act, so it would actually take um, a recommendation by city staff, then it will go to the Planning and Zoning Commission for recommendation, and then it will go to the city council for recommendation, for final approval. I know a lot of residents in those uh, council meetings with the company were expressed some concern regarding like keeping the unique Denton feel. Uh -huh. um, what would you say to those people regarding this plan? Well, one of the things that I will say is that uh, based on the presentation that has been given both at the community meetings and to the city council, the, the community actually participated where they sent in historic photographs and so forth. And the plans that I've seen, the proposed plans that I've seen for the development to mimic or mirror some of the historic architectural vernacular that was there prior to those buildings being, being, de being demolished. So I think that they've made a very good effort into incorporating those types of designs and, and the requirements or, or the desires of the community into the design of the proposed building. In fact, one of the meetings, I can remember uh, Mr. Dennerstein saying, I mean, Fashbinder saying that this community actually designed the site because all of the designs, the architectural elements and the facade treatments and so forth all came from co comments that were received from the community.